Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and to another amazing video. I'm Alice from Standout and this video belongs to our one tool per day series. Yes, you heard that right. We are going to introduce you one tool every day that's going to help you grow your business. So if you're new, remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any update from us. In this first week of the series, we're going to walk you through some amazing tools that will be very helpful for your social media marketing. Now let's hop right into this. For our very first tool right here, we're going to talk about some of our more popular option, which is BuzzSumo. And before we jump right into this, I just want to put out there a little disclaimer. In this series, one tool per day, we're going to explore and introduce you some interesting tools that we believe can be helpful. Some of these tools we have already used, some of them we have only get to know at a basic level. So if you want to use any of these tools, we highly encourage you to use the free try, to sign up for a free try and explore them first before paying for any plans. Now let's hop right into BuzzSumo. So first, let's explore what this tool is all about. AppSumo is all about helping you to find the idea, the best idea for your content marketing, for your content strategy. Now let's scroll on their homepage to see what they have to offer. As you can see right here, BuzzSumo is a helpful tool that can help you discover high-performing content idea, research your data, and also for influencers that can be helpful for your business and also monitor your results. Now let's explore their pricing plan. So they have four plans, all plans you can try for free. You can get on a free trial for 30 days right here. And they also offer free plans, which is amazing. But of course, free plans always come with a lot of restriction. So uh, for this video, I'm going to try the free plan to see what they have to offer. All right, guys. So after you finish creating your account, this will appear. Let's explore the platforms. As you can see, there's a lot of content idea, which also comes with a lot of uh, score, with a lot of uh, results for us to check its uh, popularity rate. Let's see. And we can also filter these by topics. These are the popular news and apparently it's also uh, sorted by trendy score for us, which is very helpful. Let's see what else it offers. So also total engagement. Or if you just only want to look at Facebook, you can just choose right here, Facebook engagement only. You can see these are the new that are receiving high engagement on Facebook. And you can probably develop your content of them to receive the same, to receive, to profit up this popularity. Now, for instance, if you're in business, you can just scroll right here. These, this created feed section is highly helpful and I recommend you to take advantage of this. Okay, now we're in the business section. Let's just explore this. So for instance, you can choose um, the trending content from uh, what time? 24 hours, within 24 hours, 12 hours, 6 hours, 3 hours, 1 hour. Or if you just want to look at a specific country, you can just go right here. Um, now I'm just going to put all country. And yep, let's explore what we have. So this is in the business section again. And you can see the... Uh, name of the publishers of these is also included, which is amazing. And there's uh, our score. So this trendy score is very high. Next is we have engagement score and also the separate score for each platform. Now let's see what else we can do on AppSumo. If you go to discover right here, you can discover trending topics, keywords. If you just looked into a specific keyword, question by the most popular question being asked for any topic or any topic so that you can generate content that will receive the most attention. Now let's try with keywords. As you can see right off the bat, it also suggests us some inspiration, some very helpful inspiration that we can use. Now, here we have again the popular search sections. Now, if um, for instance, if I put in maybe email marketing, let's see what we've got. 
all right guys now we can see there's a lot of data a lot of statistic here to explore it and this really helped us to develop uh, details and also effective content strategy so let's walk through see what we got so first we have um, search volume and next is a monthly search trends graph and also cost per click very detailed and article published and here we have a few related keywords so maybe you're trying to develop contents around email marketing and as we can see mailchimp is a keyword that appeared uh, with very high ranking and also multiple times so you might want to develop content about a guy for using mailchimp for business email marketing something similar to that let's switch to another tab see what we got and of course we have a similar keyword section so um, similar to email marketing you can see there's are a lot of other keywords that you can actually target as well feel free to explore this and also last tab we have analysis all right so in analysis we have a lot of more useful statistic and graph and number that we need to look into to make the best decisions for our business content strategy and also content idea more content idea that we can uh, check out from competitor and of course a question section to see what people are interested in this is where you should look to develop your content appropriately because your content should answer question, popular question in the community, in your specific niche. What question is your audience most interested in to know the answer? That's what you should answer to get the most attention. And of course, we have a related SEO keyword and surf overviewed. This is very detailed. And lastly, we have some uh, related influencer. This is for Twitter, this is for YouTube, and this is um, another relevant other that you can look into if influencer marketing is also a part of your content strategy. Do spend some time to go over all these statistics to make sure that you make the best decisions. Now let's go back to our related keyword tabs and explore this full insights. Now for instance, now I'm interested in keyword MailChimp as well and together with my email marketing keywords. Now let's view this. All right, as you can see, if you click that, it will come up with somewhat similar report to your main keyword, ending with some relevant influencer profile as well. So, and also when you click in these, you can see the most engaged article for the keyword MailChimp. This is super great. So as you can see here, the first, the number one ranking is from MailChimp and um, it's about start a MailChimp free online store. It's got this much engagement on Facebook with the detail to the like and share that is very helpful and also Twitter and Pinterest and Reddit and as you can see here explore these and check out what exactly is the type of content that you can create to explore the type of content that is working really well in the market so that you can um, create something similar and improve from that for your business all right, now that is a quick exploration for our keywords. Now let's go to our topic. Up with the topic for your content because I know coming up with the topic to write for your blogs or your social media posts can be a challenge sometimes. This can be very useful for you. So if you stuck at the planning stage when trying to come up with a good topic for your next blog or your next social media post, because I know that stage can be a hassle, this tool can be very useful. Now let's see what it offers. Now let's just say um, our company is in digital marketing and I have no idea what to write our next blog about. Let's just see. Okay guys, now when you enter your topics, as you can see here, you can use OR to search for multiple words as well, or use minus to exclude words. This is a great way to speed up your searching process, but if you really have um, no clue and you just know the broad topics, you can just enter one 
you can just enter one keyword, one topic right here. And as you can see, like I did, it already come up with um, a lot of suggest topics that we can use. For instance, social media marketing. In the center, we have digital marketing course that receive a lot of um, attention for the topic digital marketing and around this we have web marketing best digital marketing digital agency marketing strategies so, and so with this you can have like a clear visual understanding of how these keywords um, compare against each other now let's move on see what we got all right so down here we have some more details about each of these topic or keyword so you can see uh, at number one we have web marketing and here is our content idea. Let's go to its insight. So here we have more data about the keywords or topic, web marketing. Similar to before, if you clicked in these uh, column, you can see the most engaged article as well. I'm going to move on for now and let's see what else we have. All right. So for here, we have more content idea. These are um, the article that's is receiving the most engagement for this keyword or topic web marketing and for next tab we can view the question so for next tab we have the question tab and as i mentioned earlier um try to incorporate and answer these questions as often as possible because your content will provide more and more values if they actually answer the question that are most interest in your community in your market so here we have a lot of questions that you can explore, even the link. So you can just click in here, go to these forum and, and see what people are discussing about to develop your content. Okay, guys, so next let's explore our content section, see what they have to offer. Now let's go to maybe YouTube. So as you can see, they have YouTube, they have web, you can search by web linked or backlinked or there's also Facebook. And now we're going to explore YouTube content. Let's say if I want to search um the content about website design all right as you can see similar to other feature they also offer like a very detailed kind of data that you can take advantage of so for here these video they are actually sorted by view at the moment you can explore so if sorts by view this video is actually on top it's the video length is only one minute three seconds However, as you can see, the other following video is around like more than 10 minutes of length. Uh, here's as well. So um, all from these. So if you're creating a video for this specific keyword, you might want to create something around this length, this length instead. And also, as you can see, these video from the second to the third, fourth, fifth, they are all in the education section. So you might want to match these. All right, now let's move on to our influencer tab. We can find influencer on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook, or author that can, you know, incorporate in your strategy in your content strategy to make it stronger because obviously influencer marketing is on a very strong rise right now so do look into that now let's see we want to go with facebook let's try to see okay so for this as you can see we're gonna have to connect with our facebook page and for now i'm on my demo uh, account which is why we're gonna move on for the next tab which is monitor monitor allowed you to create an alert if any change any significant change that you want to follow happen let's see what we can track here so we have brand track your own brand name or terms like nike or air max so you can track your own brand mention or other famous brand or your competitors or backlink track when someone links to a website or content monitor the content created by a website or keywords or author and journalist. Now let's explore one of these. Let's say we are going to create an alert for a competitor. Let's enter an alert name. So um, let's say I'm just going to go with competitor alert. Something simple for this um, demo. Now you can enter the competitor that you would like to monitor their names in here. And if you want it to be case sensitive, do remember to check this box and let Next, we're going to enter some result must also contain all of these keyword or must not contain these keyword. So for instance, so as an example, as a competitor here, maybe I'll put Puma. 
and results must also contain all these keywords. I'm going to say maybe gray, maybe someone compliment their shoes, their backpack, like they have gray, amazing qualities and every uh, which every keyword you just enter. So gray, amazing quality. Or maybe if I want to also monitor if anyone um, is rating them as bad, so I can enter bad here. Or customer service, just enter some keywords that you wanted to include. Now, results must not contain these letters. It must not contain, maybe you don't want to monitor anything that include price. Um, so you can add some keyword here about price. So that this is just an example. Next, you can choose how would you like to be alert? daily email digest of top result instant email alert every time a result is found or no email alerts just view in the app at around what time so these are very personalized which is great you can definitely explore that see whatever is good for your situation and if you want to add to slack do it right here and simply click create alert right now i guess that's it let's see all right guys so for our last tab we have project so you can create your project in here to manage everything to keep your workflow easier. Now let's export this as well. I'm going to name this project as test. Let's move forward, see what we got. So you have article tab, you have Twitter influencer, Facebook page, journalist, question, um, YouTube content. If YouTube channels, so you can feel free to explore this and edit the project by simply going to article. If you want to add some article here, go to article search, add some article here so you can have your idea, your content idea board at the same place. Let's try very easy. We're going to go with, um, let's say with digital marketing. So for instance, I would like to uh, develop my content based on the idea of these uh, top five page. I'm just simply selecting them and here go to action and save to project to your project right here and there you have it it's right there in your project these five articles with their relevant statistic and you can do the same with all these tabs with youtube content with influencer journalists have everything here have all the questions you want to answer here so that you can create the best content the best strategy for your business all right so now that's all for today's video our first video in our one tools per day series so again if you're new do remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you receive a notification whenever our new video is uploaded thank you so much for watching guys let us know in the comment if you like this type of video or what tools would you like us to go through next we would love to hear from you and until tomorrow yes we're gonna upload another tool to for tomorrow so do remember to check that out as well until tomorrow see you soon so that's it guys that's it for today's video about copywriting i hope you enjoyed that if you're up for more boot camps and courses from industry expert we also have that link ready for you. For any of you looking to build a website, there is a free access to our website builder. And of course, don't forget to join our Facebook group for more updates and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future free training from us. Until next time, I'm Alice from Standout.